I'm Chris Lynch, uh, chef de cuisine at Emerald's Restaurant here in New Orleans. I'm going to do a dish today, a uh, farfalle pasta with fresh gulf shrimp. Actually, we're going to feature it in a couple weeks at our tailgate party, get ready for the Saints uh, return to open the Superdome. So if you look over here, we got our ingredients. It's a very simple, straightforward dish. We have our fresh gulf shrimp. We have shallots and garlic, fresh tomato, concasse, a little bit of uh, diced palugra butter, and some beautiful fresh basil. So to start, I'm just going to season our shrimp on both sides. And in a hot pan, add a little bit of uh, blended oil. So blended canola oil, 80% uh, canola, 20% olive oil. What we're going to do is saute the shrimp on one side. We're going to flip the shrimp. We're going to add some of our shallots and our garlic just to gently saute it. It's too hot, it's going to burn, so you kind of want to maintain the heat about medium. You can see you got a little bit of a nice red color there. And now we're going to go in. A nice little uh, tablespoon of diced shallot and about the same amount, a little bit of garlic. And you just kind of gently want to saute it like that. You can smell it. It's not too hot so it's not burning on you. And then what we're going to do is just get a little splash of white wine. And that helps cool the pan down so the shallots and the garlic and the shrimp won't burn. Kind of takes all that flavor off the bottom of the pan. So, the wine's almost gone like that. I'm going to go ahead and add our tomato. And you know, the tomato has a lot of moisture. So we're just going to let that cook out a little bit. And at the same time, we're going to take our cooked farfalle pasta, just drop it into some boiling water just to warm it back up. Remember, uh, we're going to have a little bit of moisture coming in back from the pasta, and that's okay because that's going to help make a sauce with the butter in a second. At this point, what we're going to do, away from the heat, we're going to gently add, incorporate the butter into the pasta dish. If it's too hot, the butter's going to melt. What we really want to do is let the butter kind of emulsify with the, with the liquid from the tomato and the shrimp, a little bit of the wine, kind of make a creamy sauce. You really want to make sure you, your butter's cold. Nice and creamy here, not too hot. A little bit more. And there's all, all kinds of pasta you could you could use with this. We just happen to use farfalle, which is actually Italian for butterflies but more commonly, commonly known as uh, bow tie, little bow ties, but you can use penne, and fettuccine, linguine, wh whatever you like. It's very important once you get the sauce made that you don't get it too hot again, or like I was saying, it's just gonna separate and not be as creamy. So to finish it, got some nice fresh basil. This is a little chiffonade cut. Very, very light and, re and refreshing. So we're just gonna give it a little toss, like that. And you could use parsley or tarragon, whatever you prefer as far as herbs are concerned. 
lots of things from work. So there you have it. We like to put a little cheese on there too. Kind of take it up a little notch and maybe a little bit more fresh green to garnish. And there you have it. A little uh, farfalle pasta with shrimp, tomato, and basil. Enjoy.